Today, we're building an architecture with Apache Kafka, Flink, and your favorite LLM to get timely insights and make dynamic decisions from high volumes of streaming data. When do we actually need this? An LLM call is the most latency and cost expensive operation in this pipeline. So when is this type of architecture worth it? I will show you the scenarios where this architecture makes sense and the business value it brings. Make sure to watch till the end because we will walk through a practical example showing how it works. Stay tuned. We are diving into the architecture that handles a large volume of real-time data from different sources, shapes it by a logical condition, and uses an LLM to analyze grouped batches to trigger an action or generate timely insights that downstream systems can act on immediately. Imagine you're running online ads or campaigns, and you want fast, trustworthy signals about what's working. When a user lands on your website after clicking on an ad, they perform a sequence of actions. For example, view product details, search for reviews, add to cart, and similar. In most cases, we track clickstream data, but aren't analyzing it until much later. But if we did, real-time insights about user actions and behavior can significantly improve user retention and conversion with more nuanced understanding of intent. For example, if we know that a user specifically searched for waterproof after clicking on a shoes ad, we can dynamically update the recommendation section so the user sees more of the exact product they were interested in, and preventing us from losing them as a buyer. Same works with other domains. The key is that you have a large real-time stream of data coming in, you have a set of behaviors and patterns you need to watch for, you can group them by a logical concept, either a sequence of user actions after an ad click or something similar, and you have an idea of what should trigger an action but you can't foresee every combination and variation. So you want to use an LLM to help classify or detect some of these decision trigger patterns and propose an action. A critical note is we absolutely will not be calling an LLM per event. It just doesn't make sense. Thousands of events can arrive in the time a single LLM request completes. We will batch or micro-batch requests based on logical pattern that we're tracking to get the most out of the pipeline. We compress a lot of noise into one small meaningful unit of work. Instead of paying for a model on every click or every log line, we send one compact request per short window, get a clear answer, and move on. We decouple ingestion, aggregation, and intelligence. The stream keeps flowing even if the model is slow or rate limited, and we make the output actionable by design. Strict JSON the rest of your systems can use immediately to personalize, throttle, flag, or route with no manual action required. We're going to connect three things. First, we will generate realistic user events routed to Kafka like view product details and add to cart. Second, we will use Apache Flink to batch these events by add, so we compress a lot of noise into a single meaningful request. And third, we will send those batches to Kafka topic that a lightweight worker reads, calls an LLM for insights, and prints out a compact JSON summary that you can ship to a dashboard, a store, or fire off a dynamic action. First, let's look at the data contracts. This is what makes the whole pipeline reliable. Strict JSON, minimal fields, and predictable shape. Here is an event. This is the atomic unit that lands on the events topic. The next is user journey. This is convenient for the generator, one user, one ad, a short list of actions. It helps us simulate realistic consequences for our test data. The type of batch analysis is the summary per batch. We add a timestamp, count users and events, and embed the analysis. 
This also includes the batch key, which is an add ID, because Flink groups by add ID and the analyzer expects it for routing and item potency. Now, on the output side, analysis insights is the LLM's answer. We keep this compact and factual so downstream systems can act on it immediately. Events are validated upfront, batches are predictable, LLM output is structured, and everything that follows can stick to this contract without guessing. In the event generator, we're starting with a small catalog of actions. View details, add to cart, reviews, price compare, and so on. This gives us realistic sequences without overfitting to a single path. Generate user journey simulates what happens after an ad click. We have three IDs, user ID, ad ID, like summer sale, holiday promo, or new arrival, and a product ID. Then we pick a few actions every few milliseconds and validate each through the event schema that you saw earlier. In Kafka, we generate a journey, send each event to the events topic, and print a tiny log like user1234, add to cart, flash, print a journey complete marker, and repeat. The big picture is this file does one job. It creates realistic, validated events at a steady cadence. It's simple on purpose so we can get reproducible sequences, clean JSON, and a path to run this example. Next, let's move on to the Flink job file. We're using Flink to turn a noisy stream into small, meaningful batches. We key by add ID and then flush a batch either when we've seen enough events or when a short timer fires. We read from the events Kafka topic and validate each event against the event schema, so only clean data makes it into the state. Two dials can control the cadence, batch size and flush interval. Smaller windows keep prompts cheap and fast. On the way out, we write each batch as a JSON string. It goes to the LLM requests Kafka topic. No LLM calls happen inside Flink, so the stream never waits on a model. This stage only groups and shapes the data so the downstream worker can decide whether to call the LLM and trigger an action. Moving to the next stage, we go to the Kafka consumer for these batched events. We're subscribing to the LLM request topic and turning each micro batch into one compact JSON summary. We can run as a normal consumer group, start from the beginning, or go groupless if you want direct partition control. Use whatever is the simplest for your example. Then we'll call the model that we specify. For each batch, we pull add ID and events. We build a tiny context, counts, and a few example actions, and ask the model for JSON only with four fields. Common first action, drop-off patterns, purchase signals, and optimizations. If the model returns something messy, we shape it back into the schema so downstream systems always get the same shape. The schema we return is always the same. Time step, add ID, users, events, and analysis. Result goes to the output as a compact JSON, so we can direct it anywhere. We can store it, we can fire a webhook, or something else. And because this worker never blocks a stream, we keep Kafka and Flink decoupled from the model latency and rate limits. We're ready to run it. So we're going to start the generator. You will see actions like view product details, search for reviews, add to cart, checkout start, landing in the events topic. We start the Flink job. It groups by add ID and flushes small windows. So you'll see steady predictable batches. Those batches go into the LLM requests topic. We start the analyzer, it calls the LLM and prints a compact JSON insight with the keys, counts, and the analysis object. What happens next is up to you. The same JSON summary can flip a feature flag on a campaign, it can adjust a bid, it can trigger personalized product recommendation or create a personalized discount, uh, it can slow a risky sequence at checkout or attach a one paragraph explanation to a support ticket all programmatically. If you adopt this beyond this example, add a simple triage step to skip low signal windows automatically. 
wire up a dead letter topic for repeated failures, lock schemas with the registry, and also make sure to redact personal information. But the core stays the same. Kafka is for durability and decoupling, Flink or Spark for grouping and flashing logic, and a small analyzer that owns the model call, the budget, and the output contract. So we turned high volume streams into small, reliable units of work. One window, one compact JSON, one decision. Kafka gives us durable ingest, Flink shapes the signal, and the LLM adds just enough judgment to trigger the right action without stalling the stream or blowing up the cost. So result here is real-time adaptability. Campaigns that can tune themselves, checkouts that protect themselves, support queues that route, and the same approach works across different domains. Strict data contracts and a clear rule for when to trigger model calls. That's the value of this design. Actionable insight on a controlled budget, decisions in seconds instead of hours, and an architecture that you can replay, measure, and trust. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Your reality has changed. You're stuck in your career. You're either using AI or being used. Do you still believe success is guaranteed? You feel it's time to wake up. Old strategies don't work anymore. Welcome to the real world. It will never be the same again. You need to fight for your future. Learn to spot truth from lies. I will help you. Together, we will win.